Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to talk about Paxton's pretrial position prior to the proceedings for his possible impeachment. Okay, if you don't know, the Attorney General in Texas going through impeachment proceedings. Today, well, yesterday, by the time y'all watch this, it was the procedural stuff, the pretrial motions. Now, these motions, they require a majority, just a majority, to get through. There was a lot of concern about Republicans showing a lot of favoritism to Paxton because he's an incredibly well-known, well-connected, and influential Republican, and he has a lot of ties to the Senate. Today was the day to do that because these pretrial motions, they could do things like disallow some evidence, maybe throw out an article or two off top. And these are the early motions. These aren't the ones that everybody's going to be paying attention to. The vote that matters is at the end. They're, the average voter in Texas would not look this stuff up. So if they wanted to assist, if they wanted to throw the impeachment proceedings in his favor, they would have approved a majority, at least a, a large bulk of his motions. There were 16 today. And the Senate sided with Paxton, checking notes, zero times, not once. Not once. And it wasn't even close. It was not even close. They only needed a majority, and it wasn't even close. Generally speaking, they voted against him by about two to one. The Senate did. The whole Senate voted against him by about two to one. Do you know another way to say two to one? Two-thirds. Two-thirds is what's needed to convict. This was the moment when the Republican Party could have shielded a lot of this information from coming out because it wouldn't have been presented during the impeachment proceedings. They really could have helped Paxton here. They elected not to. Um... Paxton is in trouble. His team definitely has a very uh, steep uphill climb because they have to convince people who wouldn't even help him out during pretrial motions to vote in favor of him at the end. Depending on what the evidence is, that might be really, really hard. The other thing to note is that the pretrial motions well, those votes are public. The average voter isn't going to go look them up, but other politicians see them. The ending vote, well, that's in secret. So even somebody who wanted to signal their support to Paxton, well, I mean, if nobody's going to know, they, they might go the other way on those votes. He's in trouble. Um, there was a lot of concern and a lot of commentary about what was going to happen because of his connections to the Senate. It does not appear at this point in time like they're just going to throw the proceedings in his favor in any way, shape, or form. Um, again, it, it's the proceedings haven't happened yet. The evidence hasn't been entered yet. But from a starting point, the number of people who were just not having it when it came to the pretrial motions, that's about the number needed to convict. That doesn't look good for Paxton and his chances of pulling this out. Um, he has been Teflon when it comes to stuff. This, this, this might be it, though. This might be the thing that really uh, brings down his political career. Um, and it's weird that it's happening the way it is because it does appear that it is going to be Republicans that, that do it. Again, I am still of the opinion we have learned more um, ever since the story broke. But I'm still of the opinion there is still stuff we don't know because there is... This is a really surprising outcome, <laughs> Um when it comes to politics, I am not often surprised. I was very surprised by not just how the motions went as a whole, but by the margin they went that way. I still think there's something else out there that we don't know. 
Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.